Okay, hi, we're back. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> that applause for those of you watching on the computer who missed the show itself means we did good today. <laughs> but, okay. All right, here are the questions. Walk out. No, no, no one walked out of a free show. <laughs> With air conditioning. Uh, Michael Moore, uh, does the momentum of progressive figures like Beto O'Rourke or Andrew Gillum in red states demonstrate that the Democratic Party needs to move further left in order to win? There's a nice softball right down the <laughs> middle of the plate um, for you. The party does. The people are already there. The majority of Americans take the liberal position on nearly every single issue. Seventy percent want Medicare for all. Uh, Eighty-two percent believe women should be paid the same as men. I mean, you just go down the whole list. Climate change, everything. Uh, we're a liberal country, um, and we win by three million votes, and we've won six of the last seven presidential popular votes. Yeah. The Republicans have won only but, once in 30 years. But I will add That's to that. That's how much they don't want. Met, like you say something like Medicare for all. American people, they do want that uh, majority. I didn't know it was up to 70. But they are absolutely 100% clueless about what things cost. They have yeah, but, no idea when they ask, what should we cut? Oh, yes, let's cut. We have spent too much. What should we cut? They say, you know what we need to cut? Foreign aid. That's part of what like makes us an this American. This part, no. you need a it's, eye to see yeah, it in the budget. I said to Podesta when I interviewed him for this, I said, uh, I said, why couldn't you just say free college? Well, we did say free community college, and you have to work to pay it right. back. And I said, no, no, that's how we lose elections. Right. Do what they do. Say free college. Yeah, but we hadn't figured out how we're going to pay for it. Who cares? Just say it. Yeah. No, that's what... Just say it. We'll figure it out later. Right. When you buy a new car, you don't know how you're going to pay for it. You figure yeah. it out later. And this thing that Democrats need to move left is su such bullshit. I mean, the, the, as you said, Michael, and my fellow Michigander, uh, <laughs> the, you know, the people are here. What, what we're talking about is the Democrats moving to the center, to America. And, you know... It, yeah. Well, the Think people are there except for all those that want to kill you. <laughs> Who's that? Well, well, everybody oh, voted Nazis? for Trump. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it's a large basket of deplorables. It extends. I know. I get, no, 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 I get hate no, no, that's wrong. We don't want to kill you. That's that's what makes us liberal. <laughs> we actually, <laughs> we would, you. first of all, we, the, the blood would be like bad. <laughs> and, Ooh, icky. And, 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 right, and secondly, yeah. here's the thing. When we're back in charge, yeah. or should I say if, I'd like to believe when, we're back in charge, here's what's going to happen. For all the, all the people watching out there who voted for Trump, when we get Medicare for all, we're, you're going to be covered too. When we don't go into the next war, we won't send your children off to war either. I mean, that's, that's, you get the benefit from all the things. We're going to fix climate change. You'll get to live. We're not going to go, oh, you voted for Trump. I, 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 By the I, way, let I, him I, die. Michael, Trump, remember in the camp... Trump promised that. He talked about universal health care. That's why I think... He talked he about it. I know, but that's... And then he handed over the policy to the, to the same old Republicans in Congress. Yeah, but he, the reason right. he won the primary, because he was not like all the Republicans. I, I think well, there's an issue, though, But he was full saying, of shit. Let's, let's, just put out, let's just put out the slogan that's going to get the most voters, because we kind of saw Republicans do that. And they, they won. <laughs> yeah, and then the dog caught the car, and they didn't have a plan. And they're still there. Right. And he's yeah, not well going that, anywhere. Right. And Mueller I, isn't going to get rid of him. I think Democrats I mean, should be better than that. They should not take an example. No, uh, no, I don't want to be better that. anymore. I want to win. Right. I want them out. I want them gone. I, I don't want pens in schools. I want and, everything. And I want it now. Just to put a so finer, have a plan for it. Uh, just to accent the point. Remember what Trump's health care plan was when he was running? Something terrific. That was yeah. we're going to replace something to, that he that he dined on that for six months and then he said I'm going to give you health care that's better, better, cheaper and covers everybody. everybody. Do, but very is quickly. Trump your example? I mean no, that's no. what I'm saying. I'm just I saying. Don't, well, the difference he understood well, that that's what people want. Exactly. Right. And they vote for that's what they the want. That's the main thing. I, I think the difference is that, that once we say it, we're actually smart. We're not stupid. And, and we will actually work to try to get people those things. We'll fail at some of it, but at least the Democrats have got to start aspiring to yes, something you're, you're, and having a spine to do it. You're never going to win if one side plays by rules and the other side I, I, I don't think that means no you should give up on having serious ideas that can be executed. I that's agree with that, that completely. But they do have that. It's just getting into no, office to don't. execute. Well, and that's, the Democrats and that's what Trump did. Don't. The Democrats have no serious ideas? Uh, when it comes to things like 
how Medicare for All would work, for example. Right, yes, if you no. look at Bernie's math, no, it I made know. no sense. I agree. Right? Like, one, it, yes. it made no sense. And yeah, the idea we're that liberal that arts was... majors. It's the, we don't know math. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. We'll find some economists. We'll hide, okay. We get somebody. All right, let me get that's to a, a few other questions. <laughs> we'll get uh, somebody. S Steve Helton, given what you now know, would you have advised David Cameron? You were an advisor to former Prime Minister. I was. I back liked in him the UK. I liked him a lot. A British. Conservatives are not crazy conservatives like in this country. Okay. That's one thing that's really nice. We work very hard at that. Yes, I know you Except do. Except Thatcher. Would you have advised David Cameron not to hold to the Brexit vote? Yeah, I, I did actually advise him uh, not to do that. Um, but I had a different view, which you probably won't agree with, which is that rather than having a referendum, which I was certain would be divisive and end up in a mess, the, the better thing to do was just be to say clearly in an election, in your platform, we think we need to leave the EU because we believe in democracy. We believe the people that make the decisions in a country should be accountable to the people, and the EU is an unaccountable bureaucracy. That's what we believe, so that's what we're standing on. Rather than leaving this open question where no one really knew what would happen at the end of it, if you'd have put it in your official party program, you could have developed a plan and a policy, and you wouldn't have this mess. That's my view. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was hoping it'd be a little more bloody than that. <laughs> no, what blood? I'm kidding. I no, I'm blood. kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, Tom, as far right media personalities such as Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson gain inf or are they gaining influence or losing it? It's a good question. I, a lot of it has to do with the platforms. You've got most of the radio stations in this country owned by corporations that have an explicit and overt right-wing bias. You've got a television network created by a billionaire who did this in two other countries, did this to two other countries before he got to our country, and, and you know lost $100 million a year for the first five years. Major investment. Air America lost $17 million. Oh, you know, it was a terrible thing. Now, they are willing, the, the, the conservatives are willing to invest in the infrastructure. You've got, right. you've got entire teams of people who are just scrubbing Wikipedia all day long on behalf of right-wing think tanks. I am the ball. I mean, it just goes on. Play the long on. game. Yeah, yeah, but the, plus, I they're more interesting put, put, put the when they're side. crazy. Conservatives but, are much more interesting when they're crazy. They come up with, like Alex I mean, Jones with, comes up with, like, great little green men things that, I, I don't know, where Alex, he gets... Alex this. is a performer. Yeah, and whereas uh, if you... When liberals go crazy, it sounds like NPR. I don't know. I can do pretty good crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing... I think there's, yeah, there's a couple of things I just want to say. You can't... <laughs> you really can't put... Tucker Carlson in the same category. No, I that, really that, think that, that is that not is, okay. Uh, he's, that's, getting there, that's he's getting there really the fast. Thing, you know. The second thing is that, you know, from again, from the other side of the fence, people would say, we've got to have this because, because the rest of the mass media is so dominated by the other argument. It's just a that's, balance. That's, again, bullshit. The rest of the mass need... media is dominated by facts. Well, that's... A, and that's, that's why you've got to have that. Okay, that's why that's... you've got to build... You've got to use billions of dollars itself, to build a right-wing infrastructure because the rest of the media is... That itself is an facts. opinion. Okay. That's your opinion. Final, it's true. The, well, it's well, an opinion okay. show. Right, right, there you right. go, exactly. <laughs> it's my That's truth. Exactly. In light of the article written by, this is for you, Catherine, that, written by Reagan's daughter, Patty Davis, how do you imagine, I don't know what that is referring to, how she, do you... She said she was sexually assaulted. Okay, how do you imagine... the? Oh, I see. How, how do you imagine the Kavanaugh accusation would be handled if the accuser were a conservative woman rather than a liberal? I think we kind of already saw this happen. Weren't some of Roy Moore's alleged victims conservative women? Abs yeah, I think so. They were... That, that's my recollection. I mean... Right. Uh, so, and what happened was that people rallied around the accused child molester. Right. You know? Because no. he was in their party. He was... He had... He had a little R next to his name and, and not a D. And... We have a Democratic senator in Alabama, which just shows anything's possible if your opponent fucks children, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>